Hi everyone. Welcome to my kitchen again for video number two for a dinner. So let's see how this goes. I felt like having a lasagna, but being that I, I want to make this low carb, it's going to be a little different. So let's start first with the regatta mixture, which is pretty typical in anybody's kitchen. So we're going to go with regatta. I, I had this in the house, but whatever brand you have is fine. If you really want to go old school Italian, you'll find an Italian butcher and they have the fresh regatta in the metal tin. Any of my uh, paisans out there will understand what that's about, but this is fine. So we're going to take one cup of regatta. I already have it mixed just to save some time. Then we're gonna go with two tablespoons of grated cheese. I love the Lucatelli grated cheese, but whatever you like is fine. I put two tablespoons just because this can be real strong, so you don't want it to overpower everything. You can certainly add more later when it's all done. Then uh, one egg, one egg will go in here, and I put uh, let's see, a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. I like black pepper. And that's it. Oh, mozzarella. Mozzarella. A half a cup of shredded mozzarella. I don't know if you can see it. I shred it myself, any brand. Um, a, a friend of mine told me, and I didn't know this, that the one you buy already pre-shredded usually has some type of starch, potato starch, something added in there so that the cheese doesn't stick. So because of that, I started grating my own cheese. A half a cup of the mozzarella shredded, and then you stir, and here you go. Here's your regatta mixture. Now, here's the high carb part. The noodles, the pasta. Who doesn't love pasta? Pasta doesn't love me, so I stay away from it. We can do, and of course we've seen recipes with grilled eggplant, um, grilled zucchini, and you use that as noodles. I found this product, and um, not all cauliflower crusts are made equal. Please be aware of that. This is outer aisle, um, and if you look at the ingredients on the back, the package is ripped but it's just cauliflower, uh, cauliflower, um, eggs, and Parmesan cheese. Okay, that's it. So I used to make these myself, so time consuming. I found this product wonderful. So what we're going to do is take a little bit of tomato sauce. I have ramekins, okay? And you're gonna take a little bit of sauce, put it, on the bottom of the ramekin, okay? Then you're going to take one of the crusts, okay? And you're going to put it in the bottom. So here's your noodle, okay? There's your noodle. Then I'll put a little more sauce because I do like sauce. Although in total, you really shouldn't be using more than a quarter cup. And then I'm gonna take the regatta mixture, pour it in. I love cheesy stuff. So you're gonna pour it in there. I know you can't see me doing that, but I will lift it up and show you. Okay, so you'll put it in and just kind of smooth it out there. Now, you can add whatever you like to this, okay? Um, a lot of people put meat in their lasagna, so go right ahead and put meat in it. You wanna put sausage, you wanna put meatballs, you wanna put ground beef, whatever you wanna do. Your recipe should be your recipe, okay? Now we're gonna put a little more sauce on top. Spread that around. I don't know if you can see. Okay. Now we're gonna take the other another crust and we're gonna place it on top. 
Okay, so now you can kind of see what it looks like through the ramekin there. And then I'm going to take the other, the rest of my tomato sauce and pour it on top. And smooth that out. And then we're going to bake this for about 25 minutes. And then we'll take it out. In the last five minutes, we're gonna sprinkle a little bit more of the shredded mozzarella. And um, if you want, I have this too, just the shredded Parmesan. And then you bake it for another five minutes to let it all melt on top. Delicious. Okay. and. I'm Italian, yes, and I cheated on the sauce, but it's okay, shh, don't tell mom, okay? But I did use Rayo's tomato sauce. You can use any jarred sauce you like. You can make your own. That's a whole nother video on mom's homemade tomato sauce, but this is great. And if you gotta look at the ingredients though when you're buying jarred sauce. Make sure it's all natural. Make sure there's nothing added, no sugars. A lot of the tomato sauces have sugar added. This is a very good one. So this is what I used. Again, don't tell mom. Okay, now I have one in the oven cooking. Let me run over there and get that and show you the end result. Uh, oh God, this looks delicious. Sorry, I had to leave view of the, but uh, how are we gonna show you? Oh, look at that. Get all the melty cheese on top. And the side, it's all nice and baked. Okay, so then we're gonna let that just set for a little bit because you know lasagna needs to set. Now, I'm also gonna serve that, when I cook, I cook in bulk. And I made meatballs and I was like, hmm, that's in the freezer. Let me take that out. So I will serve my low carb lasagna with my low carb meatballs, no bread in it. Okay, recipe for another time. But I am gonna serve that lasagna with my low carb meatballs and bon appetit. Enjoy. See you later. Have a good night. Bye.